ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You, we are, right now... What time is it? We are coming to you tonight, hot off CBS's broadcast of the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship game. What a thriller. I mean... I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Steve, don't you tape this show like at 5.30, so there's no way <laughs> you could have seen the game or who won. And to that, I say, oh, yeah? <laughs> then how would I know that the champions are... Insert winning team. Congratulations. <laughs> Congrats, you earned it, baby. Now, as for their opponents, they felt just a little short after a fantastic season. So there's still so much to be proud of for... Ed Sight Losers. <laughs> so there you have it. That right there, friends. <laughs> so that's a wrap on March Madness. Just in time for April Insanity. Because <laughs> just a few blocks from this theater, the former president is back. <laughs> he... He is here, and I know, I know. It's all thanks to last Thursday's news that the former president had been indicted by a Manhattan grand jury on more than 30 counts related to business fraud. You can see it all. There you go. I got something. I got something. You can see it all in the hot new show, Law & Order, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. So it's a sad, sad, happy day for America because for the first time in our history, a president has been indicted for paying off a porn star. How are we going to explain that to our grandchildren? <laughs> Hopefully in the book, Donald and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad NDA. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, So what happens now? What does he plead? When is the trial? What if he goes to jail? He could end up the head of a violent white supremacist gang, but in prison this time. <laughs> now, we do know... We do know... <laughs> we do know a little bit about what to expect in the near term, because the former president will be arraigned in New York tomorrow afternoon. That makes tonight... Arraignment Eve. <laughs> the courthouse was stirring, a big, busy throng, awaiting the man with the mushroom-shaped dong. <laughs> allegedly. Al allegedly. Part of the story, a lot of people forget. That's part of the story, a lot of people forget, as she described his. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> to make his arraignment today, the ex president flew to New York from Florida, a route known as the Reverse Grandma. <laughs> Cable news was all over his journey the entire way. They followed his motorcade to the airport, then, then they followed his plane as it was taxiing, then his plane taking off then his plane landing at LaGuardia, and then in his white Bronco on the 405 with his best friend Al Cowlings and Rudy Giuliani. Get off. Where'd he get off? Sepulveda? Got off at sunset is what he got off on. He actually is a lot like O.J., except with the ex-president, every glove is too big. <laughs> then... <laughs> Alvin Bragg better get those thumb cuffs. <laughs> then, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, the moment the world's been waiting for, he'll head into the DA's office where he will receive a booking number and be fingerprinted. They won't even have to use ink. I'm pretty sure there's enough ketchup on there all the time. <laughs> Roll them out. There you go. <laughs> One question a lot of people are asking is, will there be a mugshot? Well, I don't know about of him, but here's my mug, and I will definitely... Be doing a few shots.
Now, the word is there may not actually be any mugshot because officials are concerned the photo would be improperly leaked, and they argue it's really unnecessary because appearance is widely known. Yeah. You don't need a new photo taken of this guy. We already have tons of pics that would make great mugshots, like, like this one, or, or this one, or this one, or this one. Actually, actually, no, it's got to be this one. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy, hold on. Jimmy, can we make that into a mugshot? Hey. There you go. Wow. There you go. Wow. They did say widely known. Of course, <laughs> former president's cronies are all over the TV defending their criminal buddy. Case in point, South Carolina senator and sad lunch meat Lindsey Graham. <laughs> Graham, uh, Graham went on the Fox News to encourage the MAGAs to support the ex-prez. To the conservatives out there, make sure you vote. If you got friends, make sure they vote. If you don't have any friends, go make some friends. <laughs> and and if you and if you can't make some friends, then look in the mirror in the middle of the night and say it's their loss, Lindsay, and then climb into a bubble bath with a pint of Hagen dazs <laughs> Former president <laughs> and a snorkel. <laughs> Everyone on the right is outraged, and they have a dire warning for average citizens. It's not even about Donald Trump. It's about every American, because if they can do it to Trump, they can do it to you. With this indictment, I think it's an indictment on everybody in America. I mean, if it can happen to him, it can happen to you and I. That if they can do this to Donald Trump, they can do it to you. If this is what can happen to him, it can happen to anyone. If they can do that, they can go after you and me. It's true. If this indictment stands, then no one who has their fixer pay six figures in hush money to their porn star lover, then reimburses that fixer out of business accounts, then falsifies it as legal fees and conspires with the publisher of the National Enquirer to catch and kill stories about his other extramarital affairs as part of another illegal violation of campaign finance laws, will be safe! None of us! You know what I mean? No, this is serious. Folks, you know the old saying, first they came for the former president, and I said nothing, because he is so <laughs> guilty. <laughs> now, <Come> if... <laughs> if you think his cable news toadies arguments can't get any dumber, then you've never met Eric. They go after <laughs> my father for... For, for what? A Eric? non-disclosure agreement, which every company in the world, every person in the, in, in, in the world does? Wait, wait a second. Eric thinks every person in the world has an NDA? <laughs> Just curious, show of hands, who here has an NDA? <laughs> Nobody. Of course. Of course, you have to say that, or else you'll violate your NDA. <laughs> then again, this is Eric we're talking about, so to him, he might think it means something different. I wish I could have a hug, but... <laughs> my dad made me sign an NDA. It's... <laughs> no dad affection. <laughs> He says, no. He... He says everybody has one. <laughs> Fox News legal expert Brian Claypool tried to defend the former president, but didn't. If this is such a tough case for him to make, why is he bringing it? Well, I, I think there's no question about it that he wants to humiliate President Fraud, or President Trump. <laughs> he said that. He said that. I believe that's called a fraudian slip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bragg just wants to humiliate President Fraud. I mean, President Porn Sex. I mean, throw him in jail. I mean, my mom's boobs. <laughs> so, so, so whether anybody likes it or not, this is happening. And it all kicks off when? Donald Trump is due for an arraignment at this Manhattan court tomorrow. 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 Tomorrow, tomorrow, hush money, porn star -o. She said he was a bad.